Well, let's begin our little trip through Tuscaloosa, Alabama here. We'll stumble around together. So I found out a few things about it. I found it to be interesting. I didn't realize that it was as big of a city as it is. It has 102,000 people. So that's a good, healthy size. This is my second time down here, so I'm not exactly an old hat at it, but we'll get it figured out. Found out of one interesting fact is there are actually three colleges here. There's Stillman College, Shelton State Community College, and the one you might know, the University of Alabama. It's got a little theater over to the right. Rocky Horror Picture Show coming to Bama Theater. Cultural Arts Center. So there's the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse to the right. It's past the First Baptist Church. It's interesting to see the demographics too. There's for a couple of different things. One is as of 2000, the census was about 77,000 people. Now it's sprung up to 100,000. So that's about coincides with when they became known as City of Champions. It's when Alabama started winning all the national champions in football. They've really boomed since then. It's also sometimes called as T-Town and the City of Druids. But I found it interesting, too, the racial makeup here is white is about 47%, 41% black, and then little bit over 5% Hispanic, which surprises me. I would have thought it would be a little bit higher than that, but so this is getting a little bit more into the outside stretch from away from the university. It's a little bit more spread out than I thought it was originally because when I first came down here to visit my son at college, yeah, it didn't seem, it seemed like everything was just kind of there together. And of course, a lot of the commercial stuff is kind of bunched together, but there is some stuff spread out too. Looks like the fire station up here to the left. All right. So you know, this is definitely getting more spread out like a small town as this part of it. Somebody turned back around and see more of the sights and the sounds of Tuscaloosa. Kind of interesting to see these residential areas like this. like some of them are rented by college kids because the old guy on the front porch with the grill that's always important to have when you're going to college it's past Tuscaloosa City School building As you can see, you got up here Paul W. Bryant Drive. So, as we all know, Paul W. Bryant would be Bear Bryant, famed football coach at the University of Alabama. And if anybody would have ever told me in my lifetime that somebody would actually out eclipse his achievements, I would have been floored. But Nick Saban obviously has put up some unreal numbers. Oh, wait, stop, son. I'm glad I saw that other guy do it. <laughs> Got my bag on the floor, but other than that, all's well.
let's try not to hit anybody or any trash cans. It's my goal today. I think that's a pretty humble goal. The campus, which I'll show in a different video, is just amazing. I've never seen anything like it. I went to Virginia Tech and this place just puts it to shame. I guess the money from winning championships may have a little something to do with that because it's unreal. So this is the Arts and Entertainment District. and you'll see all the roll tides you'll ever hope to see in your life as you drive down through here. It is everywhere. Greasy Hands Barber Shop. Boy, that. Oh, whoa, that didn't give me too much comfort, if I'm being honest with you. It's getting to the point where all these little roads are looking the same to me, so. I'm actually going to turn down Paul W. Bryant's drive this time. Let's see what it has to offer. Jackie's Lounge. Might have more of the main stuff on it here. It's named after Bob Bear Bryant, but no, no. Pretty tame little drive here. This is one of the more main roads up here. There's the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office to the right. Hopefully I won't have any need to know that this trip, but you never know. Christ Episcopal Church, established 1828. Skip Baumhauer Photography. All right, let's turn down this way. <clears throat> And this little road which leads to that University of Alabama. Babe's Donut Company, that's calling my name.
a little hands-on museum to the right. That's kind of the children's hands-on museum. Those are always interesting to go to. I don't even feel that this is one of those videos to sleep to. Boring. <laughs> Monotonous. I'm tired myself just thinking about it. Large building is the Richard Shelby Courthouse. Bryant Bank. I wonder if it's named after Barry Bryant. Would have been a good move if it was. 